Dear friends, dear colleagues, today we will discuss with you one of the most frequently asked topics, preparations with the rubber dam, because on our Instagram platforms, YouTube channels, during our hands-on courses or whatever, people usually ask uh, if I prep with the rubber dam or in which case we prep with the rubber dam, do we need to prep with the rubber dam and so on and so on. So today the topic is about that. Before we start, I would like to ask you again, please put like to this video, it is very important for us, it motivates us and we are going to do more and more uh, episodes of uh, BG Dental Tips that hopefully will make your professional life easier. Follow us and share this content with your friends and this way you will contribute into the global dental education. Let's go! Yes, okay, my friends, so first of all, I do not do my rubber dam preparations for all cases. Uh, in most of cases, if we need to prep teeth for crowns, for overlays, for veneers or whatever, I use Optrogate or any kind of re cheek retractor, okay? So this is what we typically use. But sometimes we use rubber dam because of few reasons. The reason number one, I can use rubber dam when, uh, for example, I have a case to be prepped for overlay or for crown and there is a carrier's defect. So basically I may start doing my preparation without rubber dam. Then I excavate carriers and now to fill up the cavity or to do build up, I need to have more clean environment. So I place rubber dam for that. Then I fill up the, the cavity, do build up or sometimes we do endodontic treatments, for example. So we need rubber dam for that. And after this process, I can continue prepping the tooth with the rubber dam on. So that's one scenario. Another scenario is when you have a patient, a very special type of patients with a huge cheeks like that, huge tongue like that. So when they open mouth, you cannot see teeth because everything is covered with these cheeks and tongue. So basically you may try to find this fight with the cheeks and tongue with a section with some retractors or you can place rubber dam just for these specific cases. We are speaking about mainly molar teeth, uh, distal sides like uh, last molar, second molar, second premolar or whatever. So you can place a rubber dam and you can do your preparation with the rubber dam on following some rules. I would like to show you a video like here you can see uh, the typical scenario. This is second molar, the last molar in the, in the row where I'm uh, prepping the tooth uh, with uh, the rubber dam on. And you can see that the process is very clear. Rubber dam gives me a lot of uh, retractions. Uh, it gives me also nice light reflection. So basically when you have the rubber dam on, the light reflects better and you can see better everything what is related to the process of the treatment. You can see this is the distal area, exactly, distal area, and I can uh, get my bore prepping the distal margin with a very small mirror. That's also a small tip, because sometimes we cannot have uh, room to place the mirror and to place the handpiece at the same time, so you have to have very small mirrors in your uh, instrument set. And then uh, to avoid this helicopter effect, uh, which is uh, the typical situation when you play, when you touch the bore with, uh, with the rubber dam with the bore and you get this helicopter effect, you have to follow a few rules. So the rule number one, you have to use proper clamp that distalizes the rubber dam from the tooth. The rule number two, you have to use thick membrane because thick membrane gives you better retraction. The rule number three, you use electric motor, low speed, less than 100,000 RPM, and you have to use medium grid bore. In that scenarios, even if you will touch accidentally your rubber dam, it will not be teared the same way as you have, for example, medium grid bore or coarse bore, turbine or turbine or uh, high speed and so on and so on. Another thing that I would like really to highlight, it's very important to have the clamp with a distal position of the clamp uh, bar. So you have to find these clamps. This one is 14T by KSK or Dentec, one of the best clamp with the distal orientation of the bar. You will place the clamp, you have the room for the preparation even on the distal side that was shown on our video. Here on, the, on this picture you can see how much room we have in a distal area due to the proper clamp 
selection. In here between uh, these uh, molar teeth I have so-called split them, which is another tip because the, uh, the distal margin of the uh, first molar was relatively deep and there was a high risk that I will get my rubber dam on the board. So I made this type of the split dam and I placed retraction cord and I made my uh, distal margin on the first molar and the mesial margin on the second molar more uh, clear and um, visible during the preparation without risk damaging the rabbit dam. My friends, I would like to ask you if you may have some uh, nice tips and tricks related to the rabbit dam and preparations. Please share these tips in uh, the uh, chat, in the, in the comments. And uh, again, don't forget to put likes and to share the video with the professional community. We will be very grateful and we will do more and more nice uh, episodes uh, related to dental tips. Stay strong and may the dental force be with you.